Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King 8. Today is all about the best smash burger I could possibly make. I've taken your guys' ideas, I've combined them together. A quick rundown of the ingredients. This is kind of like the formulation that I feel like I would enjoy. We always know that you can't start a great burger without a great bun. We have some beautiful brioche buns right here. American cheese. And I have some smoked Gouda because I really like smoked Gouda. Some pickles. We're going to shave some onions because we're going to do this Oklahoma onion style. You guys have told me you can't have a smash burger without onions. You can, but that doesn't mean it's the greatest. This might be the greatest. Some thick cut applewood smoked bacon. The star of the show. I went above and beyond today. I bought some American Wagyu ground beef. You guys see all the nice flakes in there. Um, just, I'm really excited about this. Of course, the best burger on the market has smashed that. A little mustard because a few people out there said, what about a mustard style smash burger? I love them and I think it'd be a great addition. And then to keep it simple, just a little bit of mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise. You guys ready? Yep. Let's go. Alrighty, we're working on the Traeger today. It's on low. First thing I'm gonna do is start the bacon. I like it crispy. Not bacon dust, some people do. <laughs> the only way to eat it. All right, while the bacon's cooking, we get asked all the time, how do you not weigh 300 pounds? You cooking cheesesteaks, you're cooking burgers, you're cooking hibachi, fried rice. Well, I've got a new afternoon ritual. This video is sponsored by AG1. AG1 is a one-stop solution for supporting holistic whole body health. It's meant for everyone and anyone and supports your body's fundamental needs in one scoop. This is how I like to make my drink, okay? You can make it many ways, many ways. I actually like to add a little flavor. I like the flavor, just add a little boost. I've got uh, what, this little bottle that they come with. Shows you all your measurements. Eight ounces of water. I'll throw in some, um, like four ounces. 12 ounces is kind of like your sweet spot of healthy lemonade. So it take, really takes the guesswork out. I'll throw in some ice cubes because I like mine chilled. And then it's as simple as this. Just one scoop. And give it a good shake. There's a, I know people add like coconut water. I know people add like lemon, uh, just straight up lemon to the water. I like it like this because it tastes like a smoothie. Um, I'm a big fan of the flavor. You guys might know that I've got two jobs. So uh, it's just something that I look forward to when I get home. It's refreshing, especially in the summertime. And um, honestly, it just gives you like the boost I need to keep going. It keeps me focused. It's good. I like it. All right, guys, if you head to my link in the description below, you get a free one-year supply of AG Vitamin D3 K2 droplets plus five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. Thank you, AG1, for sponsoring this video. All right, I got my trusty mandolin, a sweet Valdelia onion, thinly sliced. The only vegetable in sight today. <laughs> All right, we have that Wagyu American beef. I'm just gonna start forming it together. Loosely packed, I'm looking like for about three ounce balls. If it's a little bit heavier, it's fine. Loosely packed. I got my bacon over here, my pulled up corner. That's where my oil likes to go. I'm fine with that. Um, I've got the two middle burners on low, the middle one on the high. I'm trying to raise that temperature up to get that good crust, that Maillard direction. I've saved some bacon grease. I'm just gonna dab my buns in there. You can use butter, mayonnaise, whatever. Start toasting our brioche buns. All right. You see how we're smoking right here in this spot? Absolutely perfect. Just pull a touch of bacon grease over. Just add that onion right on top. Press and hold for 10 seconds. Okay. 
the post war seasoning. And just like when you do a mustard smash burger, we're just gonna go right on top with it. All right, it's as really as simple as that. We'll let it drain just for a second on a plate while we build. If you tell me that smash burgers can't be juicy, like I said, we're gonna keep it simple, just mayonnaise on the bottom. We love pickles. Don't let the onions go. Top it with a little bacon. And there you go. That's about as good as it gets. Now that a burger's rested. Whoo! Could this be the best smash burger I've ever made? <sighs> Looks like it. What do we think? Because you made some darn good ones. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. You hadn't even bit down on it yet before you said, mm. <laughs> the onions. Mm. 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 Can you make a smash burger without onions? You can. But does it step up the game? It does. Mm. Mm. Look at this dry burger. <laughs> Look at it. The Maillard reaction. Yeah, you know, it could have something to do with that Wagyu ground beef. The Wag American Wagyu ground beef. I mean, it's juicy. Mm. It's good. All right, guys, there you go. If that's not the best, it's dang close. <laughs> you know, honestly, I don't even know if it needs the bacon. I'd rather choose the onions over the bacon. Agreed. All right, there you guys have it. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's a membership program. We thank each and every one of you for taking time for doing so. Check us out on The Griddle Group on Facebook, where I was challenged to make a better smash burger with the amount of information we'd received. And I hope this one does it justice. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Mm.